Sandy Martin, uh, is, is the Labour Party, as far as you're concerned, talking about real issues to real people rather than having this intellectual argument at the top? Well, we certainly are in Ipswich. Uh, oh, well, I'm Stuart, asking and, you about uh, the party. No, I, I know, and uh, we do uh, all the time, as far as we possibly can, focus on things that make a real difference to people's lives. That's what was in our manifesto in the last election. He's got a point, hasn't and he? He's got a point. Uh, nobody's asking you about renationalising uh, the water. And that is not the main thing that we're talking to people about. The main things that we're talking to people about are precisely the things that Gavin was concerned about, uh, about the cuts to the National Health Service, about the cuts to education, about the lack of building of houses. People if, are desperate for housing. If you were doing that effectively, you've got a, a Conservative Party which is at odds with itself over mm. Brexit. You've had the Windrush problem. You've had all sorts of problems. Mm. You should be doing much better. We're doing very well in the towns where we are actually focused on the things that matter to people. I believe that there are some parts of the country uh, where the Labour Party needs to be more focused on what matters to the people in their areas, but uh, it's the message that we have is a message which really does work for people. And I do actually disagree with Gavin about uh, water. You know, people have seen their water bills going up and up year after year. They do resent the fact that uh, massive profits are being paid to shareholders in water. It does make a difference whether or not something is publicly owned or whether it is a private company. And uh, that was part of the manifesto message that we took to the country last year, which was very successful. As far as you're concerned, I mean, when you woke up on Friday morning, were you quite content? I wouldn't want to say content, but for a party that has been in, part, um, in, in government for now eight years, when you're traditionally in these things on the defensive, it could and have been... And has its problems. Yeah, and has its problems. And it, it could have been much, much worse. So it was, um, I think it was a satisfactory result as far as the Conservatives are concerned, but there's certainly no room it, for it, complaints. Isn't it just, though, because... Or wasn't it made to look better because of UKIP? I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I think you, if you look um, where we have councils who are doing well, and I think if you look at the situation, to go outside the region for a minute, in London, I think people's minds were very much focused in the last week of the campaign that where you had good Conservative councils producing good services, good value for money, people stopped for a minute. I saw you shake your head down the far end. <laughs> oh, no, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped and thought about it and said, no, we're better with what we've got. <laughs> Uh, is this the beginning of Lib Dems coming back, or was South Cambridgeshire that that's a kind of quirk, isn't it? No, it's not a quirk. We see we gained four councils across the country, so we're super pleased. And I was just so overwhelmed with pleasure when I saw the results on Friday, because a few years ago it was us talking about being wiped out, and we're we're not. Um, and what I'm particularly proud of is just seeing how people matter still in politics. The people we got elected in South Cambridgeshire, Chimi, who you had on your uh, telly a minute ago, the lady in the brilliant uh, yellow suit. She's a chartered engineer, a business woman and she's now a Liberal Democrat politician again she was re-elected and it's people in our party that are making the difference. Uh, wh what happened in Colchester and places like that though where you have done well in the past? We have done well in the past again it's down to people isn't it when everything's so down. So you're saying the people in Colchester weren't good enough? Well the Liberal Democrats need to don more brightly coloured waistcoats that's for sure. <laughs> <if they want laughs> to in Colchester. You see I, I mean you might say that the Labour um, figure is made to look better because you took those seats from the Greens in Norwich. We did take seats from the Greens, but we also took seats from the Conservatives as well. I think the message is that where we have got our act together and where we are running the authority with an overall control so that we can actually do the things that we want to do, people can see what we're doing and they like it. And we need to get through to people across the country that actually Labour is capable of running good, efficient, effective local councils and we would be able to do uh, the same in okay. government. Is there a Brexit effect? Because the Lib Dems have, are the one party that actually has a, a, a proper, a, a sustained view on Brexit. Yeah, I think um, whether or not there's another referendum, whether or not it was the right outcome last time, I obviously strongly support staying in the EU and I still do. I think it's really important that well, we so still Well, so does are, he. Well, you, you support it, don't you? But we, we, we need yeah. people to have a voice. So we need there to be a major political party that is saying this can still change. It's not a deal done yet. It's not I time to wipe out UKIP yet. I disagree yeah. with that. I voted to remain in the EU, but we had a referendum with a very high turnout. And the, the clear message, the message that came through was put, um, the question was put to the the electorate was we should leave and I think as elected politicians if we ignore that message we're going to very perilous waters. But that that, that plays well in your constituency doesn't it as well I mean even though you were a, a, a Remainer Brexit yeah. is big for you. Mm.
Do you think the message has got through to everybody very quickly? I don't think everyone knows what the message is and uh, you know we have a problem because people voted on a message which they misinterpreted or didn't know what, what it was in the first place. But having said that, the referendum did take place and we do have to abide by it if we believe in democracy. Right. Not Good. too late. Okay. <laughs>